speech, sir? Can I speak to you for a minute? I have a good report with the CPD because I used to live here and when my son was abused in foster care, some of your department testified on my behalf, so I love the clubs. I'm not going to ruin my report with a dope fee because that's what she is and I can say what I want to say, okay? She had no right. The star of today's video is a legend amongst officers of the Columbus Division of Police, Lowell Rector. Lieutenant Rector was born and raised in the Columbus neighborhood known affectionately as the Bottoms, now called Historic Franklinton. His life's goal as a child was to become a Columbus police officer. He joined the Marines straight out of high school. After several years as a Marine, Rector returned home, and on November 4, 1994, he became a Columbus police officer. Lieutenant Rector spent his entire career working patrol as an officer, a sergeant, and now as a lieutenant. Regardless of his rank, Lieutenant Rector always viewed himself as a patrol officer first. For today's video, Lieutenant Rector was trying to have a lunch meeting, and before he could get out of his car, he was flagged down by a citizen who had a problem. Being a patrol officer first, Lieutenant Rector did his best to mediate between the two parties. This is a situation where many men of his rank would have simply punted the problem to an officer of a lower rank, but not Lieutenant Rector. Recently, with 29 years of service in the patrol subdivision, Lieutenant Rector decided to take a job inside, leaving his career as a patrol officer behind. This new job should provide him with the opportunity to coast into his retirement, although we might have to handcuff him to his desk to keep him there. On behalf of the citizens of Columbus, the patrol subdivision, and specifically the officers of Zone 3, I want to thank you for your years of service and dedication to your community, your leadership through the years, and wish you great success and happiness in all future endeavors. What's going on? dispatch number so my name is Jennifer I just need you to send somebody over here because this is what just happened and I don't want this to escalate with my son because he's mentally ill he's been deemed incompetent you know he can't be arrested I'm suing all the hospitals here because that that's why I'm here for litigation and when I seen you I, I didn't want you guys so what happened was I'm in this room here right and I'm, I'm staying in one of the rooms here. So one of the housekeepers knocked on my door very aggressively with a, like a, a key. And I told them Hold they should... Hold on one second, okay? Yeah. L3. Maybe, can you see... L3. Maybe get flagged down on some type of a 16 here at... Uh, this on Rena Road, sir. Did you call in? I did call in, but I okay. know my son's going to get a little yeah, the one on the violent side. because, okay, because what... What did you say, sir? I'm sorry. They cut you out. The one on Renner. I feel you, bro. Actually, I have that. Uh, 5001 Renner Road. Yeah, that's it. They cursed out the, uh, the house cleaning lady. Yep, that's the one. Okay. Can clear so what's going on? The housekeeper on the pounded on your door, and what happened? Okay, so she pounded on the door with a, like a key, and I told her that she shouldn't be doing that because I work housekeeper too. You just use your hand, you know. You don't do it like you're the police department. So when I went around the corner, the heavy set lady, she's a witness. She works there. She was giving me towels and extra items. She asked me was it stay. I said yeah. Then she started cussing me out, calling me out Who my name. Who started cussing you out? The lady knocking on the door. Okay. She's on drugs or something. Everybody says she's on drugs. I don't know. But she works here too. She works here too. Okay. And then she walked up on me with a clipboard All doing right, don't like do that. Don't do that again. Well, well, I'm just showing you. Don't do that again. Okay. Right. Well, she was walking up on me doing like that, right? Pointing like that. 
and she yeah and she had a clipboard pointing in my face mm -hmm. and I told her if she don't back up off me I'm gonna use self-defense because at that time I felt that immediate danger when she was in my face uh -huh. you don't walk up in nobody's face okay so then the maintenance guy came over here and he told her she should not be tapping on the door with a key. And then she got mad and was going off on him. Then when I walked down there, the same housekeeper opened my door and yelled in the room, you need to get your fat ass up too. That's what woke him up. My son is artistic with a violent history in Columbus. And I wanted to put, I flagged you down because I know his history. He had, Go in the room, break the TV, go in the lobby, and it wouldn't be nothing nice. There's nothing the police can this do. This son or another son? My son. He's 14. He's been adjudicated here. Okay. He's in your history. Okay. So he can't be taken to the hospitals. I'm suing him. He can't be arrested. You guys arrested him, but you guys got some memo on precinct 18. He can't be arrested. He's been okay. adjudicated. Okay. That's all I'm saying. All right. I didn't want him to get escalated more because she didn't have no business say, yelling that to a 14-year-old child. You need to get your fat ass up. Now, if my son would have came out here and did something, I had nothing to do with that okay. because I can't control my son. All I've right. been trying to get him help for a long time. All right. Have you talked to the manager of the hotel? The manager's not here today, mm -hmm. and I just want to bypass that and call the police because I don't feel they're going to do nothing about it, me personally. Okay. What is it that you're looking to have done? Yeah. Well, I already know they want me to leave, you understand? But I'm going to have time to leave. They're not going to just throw me out the room and they finna What time is checkout? Well, it's 11 o'clock, but if you're ready, remorse members, 1 o'clock. Okay. So I got an artistic son, so I just can't put him in a car. He's got to take his medicine, his injection. What's your room number? Right here, sir. What's your room number? 117. 117. All right, why don't you go ahead and have a seat here. I'll go talk to him up in front, okay? How much time do you need before you leave? Huh? How much time do you need? Well, I call Ready Roof In, and they give you the 1 o'clock. Whether they want to give it to me or not, I don't know. So, but that's okay. what time How much need. time do you need to Probably leave? 1 o'clock. Okay, why don't you just have a seat right here? My okay. room is right there. I'm not finna sit on the side of the table. You, I'm not doing that. I'm going you, to the room. Are, are you going to go into your room or you want to go with me to talk to the manager? I don't want to go down there, period. All but right. I do got a witness. Is there sir. anybody else in your room? No, just me and my son. Okay, I'll come talk to but you in a minute. there's a witness in the laundry room that witnessed this. Okay. A bigger right. lady. All nice right. girl. We'll go talk to him. And you are checking out today, right? Yeah, but I need okay. time. All right, I'll be there in a minute. 117. Thank okay. You. You're welcome. Have a good day. Hey, officer, she's due to check out today. Check out's at 11. We want her off her like, She's very aggressive, very loud, very ghetto, very disrespectful. She just has to go. Like, she's, she's supposed to, she should have been gone. I don't even know why she's cussing the housekeeper out. There's no sense in it. Talk to people. She believes she can stay until 1 o'clock because of some policy that you have in place. What? Well, here's our policy. Check in at 3, check out at 11. She seems to think that because she has a... Um, a special needs child that she is given she can be given an extra two hours to no, check out no if she came here if she would have came up here and respectfully asked me for a late checkout of 12 that would have been fine but nobody gets to stay till one o'clock like yeah. our housekeepers have, we, that you know they have to have time to get the rooms ready for the next people coming in but she's so disrespectful like she's threatening the owner threatening my housekeeper like she just has to go she will not ever rent here again she's going to be dnr do not rent like, there's nothing. I mean, I'm sure you talk to her. You see how she is. She's, she's talking about she has a fire. She has a fire cure. There's no sense in all that. Like, that's not very threatening. So she, they want her gone. Okay. She needs to leave the premises. All right, we'll ask her to leave. Okay. Right? Have her pack up her stuff and get on. Get Thank on you away. so much, officer. Yep. Sorry for the bother. Yeah. Have a good day. All righty. Excuse me, sir. Can I speak to you for a minute? a good report with the CPD because I used to live here and when my son was abused in foster care some of your department testified on my behalf so I love the clubs I'm not going to ruin my report with a dope fee because that's what she is and I can
to say what I want to say, okay? She had no right beating on my door with a key. There was another lady here saying she just walked in her room. You don't walk in nobody's face, Lieutenant. Just like when I was doing that discriminate, you said don't do that again. That goes for me too. People can't walk up in your personal space, Lieutenant, get to doing all like that. Okay. That's all I'm saying. So I, I spoke with them at the hotel here, and you're going to have to get your stuff and go. Checkout was at 11. They've agreed to allow you to stay until mid or until noon. Yeah, but I got an artistic an son, and he gets a little okay. violent, and he's in your system. And so I can't just get, I got to give him his medication and you have a proper time. Well, I'm going to get started on that right now. Huh? Let's, it, let's go ahead and get started on that right now because it's past 11. Yeah, but, the, but I get to 1 o'clock. I do. I'm a Ready Rewards Club member. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. They're, they're not going to inconvenience me when they don't okay. want to start this. I'm going to go back done. to the office and talk to them about your rewards program. Right now, I need you to go ahead and start getting ready to go. Yeah, let them know I have an artistic self. Uh, can I'll you do let that them for know. me, sir? I will let them know that if you can go ahead and get your stuff and get ready to go, okay? Now, she shouldn't have did what she did either. Point so, the clipboard <clears throat> in my face. Right, right. So, and you, doing you, all that there, is, there is a process to logic and plan. I know, but the, she started this, Lieutenant. Don't, don't rush me out the building. I got an artistic son who gets violent and aggressive I'm not refusing to leave but they're inconveniencing me you don't know what I got to deal with my son spits on me and attacks me but tears the buildings up in Columbus okay so don't I don't need to, uh, another situation to be created on me I totally agree. because if I go yeah. in there tell him come on and he say bitch quit rushing me then that's going to be another situation okay. that I'm trying to avoid okay so let's go ahead and keep it rolling though keep now we know we need to have we need to deal with him in a certain kind of way uh -uh. and you know you he's been your son you've been around for a long time so you know you know how to handle him not what really. I need you to not do really. well not what really. I need you to do not is really. start start turning that magic on you got some yeah. you know you got some magic you can I handle remember with him. you had Kroger didn't you come to the call on Kroger about my son I don't think so my son uh, attacked the security in Kroger Okay. I think it looks like a firearm. Huh? Do you have a gun? No, I don't got a gun. Okay. I thought somebody said on the line, I said she, you had a gun that was put away. Well, whatever I got, I didn't put it. Okay. I'm so you do have a gun? Do I got a what? Do you have a firearm? I got Do I got, well, this is what I said, okay? okay. I carry mace, I carry a stun gun, and yes, I carry a firearm, but it ain't on this property. Okay. Thank you. And it's not illegal, neither item. I just mentioned. Illegal. I'm just asking for her safety. I'll be yeah, right but if she would approach me and I felt that immediate danger, sir, certain situation, I mean, just because you get into an altercation, you just can't shoot. You get it. Sometimes you can just whoop a bitch ass and they'd be fair to change no rock. I'm from Chicago, okay? I'm just not going to just shoot somebody. But if I feel immediate danger, I have every right to do that. Okay. And guess who told me that? Columbus Police told me. I'm a good report That's with Columbus Police, and I don't want to ruin my report with your department because you guys helped me get my son back when he was illegally taken to the foster care. So I don't want to ruin my my relationship with the police over a drug addict that she is. Okay. So I'm gonna be trying to get ready and going. But standing here may escalate him. He likes Columbus police. He does like it. So you're just getting your stuff and you guys are leaving? Yeah, okay. because it's the, for the best. Yeah. But I just need a little time. Because really, if you're a red, work for, I mean, work, if you're, um, it, you're supposed to get to 1 o'clock. See, the housekeeping Do you want me to come back? No, you're, you're good. good. Okay. Okay, there is some, um, she's under some understanding that because she is a rewards member that she is allowed to check out late. No, late, the only latest she can check out is 12 o'clock. Do you have some type of a program for reward members? There that is for a program for rewards member, that doesn't mean they can stay until 1 o'clock. What does it mean? It means that they get a discount on their room, they get uh, reward members points, but it doesn't, here's the thing, it doesn't, at this point, I don't care what she is. She's not allowed to stay at this hotel. We want her off the property. I understand. But you also have to understand the position that we're in right now. I understand. Right? I'm about to call. We're, 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 I'm going to call. You're going to call who? 
I'm calling Zeppelin Fed and I'm calling their 100 number. As far as our policy goes, I don't, I don't see Red River Fins are owned by different people. This is private. Our policy, the latest you can check out is 12 o'clock. Okay. And I'm, I'm not, I know it's not your fault, but she, it's not even that. She's threatening people, so she has to go. And I understand, but she she does have a special needs child that we have to deal with. Okay, well, here's what I'm going to do. And she, and if you if you have ever dealt with someone with special needs, mom. Well, I'm give her until 1 o'clock. Okay, let's do that. Thank okay. you. Here's one why. She has to be gone. Okay, here's why. Because mom, whenever we have a special needs child, mom has the ability to sometimes escalate or de-escalate that special needs child. And if we try to force her to leave, she's going to cause that special needs child to escalate. Okay. And that's going to give us a problem. And then right. we're going to end up, and he's going to end up getting in trouble right. for what she's doing. Right. Because so, his fault is she's ignorant. Right. So, one o'clock, at one o'clock, tell her, one o'clock. Okay. Like, I don't even, like, here's the thing the owner doesn't want, he doesn't trust her here. What about you guys here? Which one, but tell her one o'clock she has to go, or I'm going to call the police back again. And she's okay. Going to be All right. We'll tell her she has to be out of here by one. Not only that, but if she wants to say it to one o'clock, she has to keep her mouth off anybody that works here. Like, she has to stay in the room. Like, there's no reason for her to be out here cussing people out. And if she's going to do that, then she has to go. You know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if she's ready for words or not. But what she's, it's not that we don't want to help her. It's the way she's treating people. I understand. I totally understand. Yeah, some like, people, some, some people just can't get along. No. And yeah. she's one of them. You do not have good people. I'm a rewards person. We don't have that. Okay. But she's really being nice. Well, thank you for doing that. I and appreciate it. I'm nice it. to everybody, but her, I can't. She's just threatening people. When you call about guns and stuff like that and wasted people getting shot, I'm not on that. I got kids home. Talking about she has a firearm. I'm like, wait, you know, I'm not doing all that. Okay. So she can stay until one, but she needs to stay in her room away from every other person. I will let her know that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Yeah. No kidding. And Mark's in there eating. Yeah. Um, um, so what's the deal? I didn't even read the run. So there was a, a, a gun involved. She made a threat. She was a threat. Yeah. Yeah. She just can't talk to anybody else. That's why I told the staff to stay away from her. So. Yeah. Yes, sir. Hi. Um, you can stay till one. You have to be out by one. Okay. Uh -huh. They're just asking that you not talk to any of the staff. So just don't well, talk, to talk to the staff. Right. I didn't talk to them in the first place. They the one who came on me, and I'm okay. not the one. All right. Well, you, you, they're going to allow you to stay till one o'clock. Okay. Okay. Thank right. you, sir. Yes, ma'am. But I didn't See initiate you later, okay? this. All right. See, he likes you guys. He don't. Hiller. We like him. Hiller Grove City. He would have probably. He don't like them. He don't like him at all under no circumstances. Okay. He don't worth it. He only likes you guys. Cause he know. See, I, I've been through a lot, Lieutenant. He's got mental health from going state to state. Nobody helped me. He was taken through children to Franklin County. I had to spend a bunch of money. I was on two indictments for a menacing case for all, and I beat the cases. I come here for litigations, but I've been back to Columbus for 60 days, and I made over 40 reports since I've kind of been here. Okay. About my son. Well, he seems like he's doing pretty good right now, and we like that. And uh -huh. it's all good. They're going to let you stay till 1 o'clock. Yeah, I just see my stuff is all packed up. Okay. I keep it, you know. All right. Okay. Well, thank you. You have a rest of your good Sunday, okay? Okay, thank you. All righty. Bye-bye.